Hey everybody, so I want to do like a follow-up to my first lesson and show you some of the things that I learned that I was doing wrong. And I also want to show you some books that I ordered, um, some heart books. So the first one I ordered is called, it's got a sticker on it, it's called Basic Heart for Beginners by Laurie Riley. If you can see that or not that's when I ordered and then I ordered the teach yourself to play the folk heart by Sylvia Woods and I've heard this is supposed to be really good so I've started looking at those I hadn't done much with them yet I also had to order one for my harp lessons it's called um, Fun. Let's see where. Hold on a minute. Got it right here. Here it is. Sorry. It's called Fun from the First Line in Healy by Samuel Milligan. And it's one of these little spiral bound books. And it was like $20, $26 was shipping, $25. Those were expensive. Anyway, I haven't got that one yet, but I'll have to have it for my um, harp lesson. But I wanted to show you some of the things I was doing wrong <laughs> that I need to um, correct. So um, the first thing is when I was holding my hands, I was holding my thumb up like I was supposed to do, which I think that's okay. It's just you see how my elbows are down and they're supposed to be, it's supposed to be more like this. Let me see if I can tilt that. So my elbows should be more like this with a little, and he says, a little, a little dip in your hand, but more like this. And I was like this, which is so much more comfortable. But like this is takes a lot of effort, especially if you don't have any upper body strength or you're out of shape. So I was doing that wrong. Um, other than that, can't remember anything really really bad I have to fix but just um, the height of my heart too was a little bit low compared to his so I've set something under it I'm gonna have to order the longer legs for this mm -hmm. one um, it has the four inch legs and I'm gonna need probably the eight inch legs so I've got something under it so it's a little bit higher now and I think that'll help some but um, also I thought 30 minutes of harp lesson it went really fast but um, I don't think a longer lesson would be beneficial because it is it was a lot of work trying to hold and relax my shoulders and not get tensed up. And it's just a lot to remember. So I may have been better off if I had not started trying to play on my own because now I'm having to go back and um, try to correct my posture or the way I'm sitting. Also, um, I was like, holding like this and tightening my hand up um, this part tighten it too much so you see I need to relax my hands more and not be so tensed up of course at first we have to learn all this so it's not that easy but that's why I think uh, going to harp lessons really helps and if I can get down the technique early then later on that's going to help me be able to be more proficient when I begin actually playing so that's all I had to say besides I did make me some flashcards for the music um, notes. I'm trying to learn those. I'm working on the treble clef, the top line first, and then working on the bass. Is it called bass clef? The bottom, the left hand next. But why in the world they put them different on each set? That was crazy. He also had me... Um, tune my harp and um, to push some of my levers up and tune it differently. He had me, and I'll tell you what he did. He had me put the C lever down, the D lever down, the E lever up, the F lever down, the G lever down, the A lever up, the B lever up, and the C lever down and tune it that way. And that's when it's in tune. And then when I switch them a different way, he gave me how to do it. He said, then that becomes magic. And that's when I play in the modal which I don't know what the modal means, but eventually I will. So that's all I got to say. That's the update. We'll talk to you later. Bye.